What's up guys, Technobo here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using repair hammers. Repair hammers add simple items that players can use to repair items in their inventories. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section. Select the Spigot tab and search for Repair Hammers. Install a version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. So before we start, I'll give an example of what it does with one of the hammers. I'll spawn in a damaged sword as well as some damaged armor. I'll use slash hammer or slash hammer help to bring up a command reference for the plugin. Then I'll spawn in a repair hammer using the first command here. I'll use slash hammer give techno test one one. This gives me a test hammer that when used repairs one item by 50% durability. So I'll right click while holding the hammer to activate it, then right click on a sword to repair it by 50% of its HP. Nice and simple. The plugin works with armor as well as other tools. What other hammers are there? Well, we can use slash hammer list to find out. I'll give myself the other two sample hammers, slash hammer give techno hammer two and sword hammer. The sword hammer repairs one sword to 100% and hammer two repairs all items in your inventory by 50 durability. You may expect it to work after just one right click, but you do need to hold a damaged item and then right click again. These hammers are of course just used as an example and we'll make our own in the config just now. Players wouldn't use these commands to get themselves hammers, they'd instead use the shop. This command works with economy plugins as long as Vault is installed. I have Vault as well as Sane Economy installed on my server. Slash Hammer Shop opens a simple GUI where players can see what they're buying and spend in-game currency to get items. Not only can you make it cost to buy hammers, we can also make them cost users currency as they use them as well. I'll set my balance to zero and I'll give myself a new damaged sword. Users can even craft these items themselves if they don't want to buy them in the shop. These crafting recipes you can customize in the config later. To create one of the sample hammers, I'll need six iron and a stick and I'll put them into a sign formation and that lets us create a repair kit. There are two more ways that we can use these hammers. One is by combining it with a tool or armor piece in an anvil, or we can right click them in our inventory to use them as well. As you can see, we need 50 currency to use it. Setting my balance to 50, we can then use it properly. The last commands we'll use are slash hammer reload to reload the plugin's config from file and slash hammer info to show us some info about the plugin. Locate the config in the plugin folder. Config.yml has some general settings for the plugin and as with other well-made plugins, this config file has lots of info above each setting to explain what they do. The Use section defines how you can interact with the plugin. The Items section lets us toggle whether it works with other plugins. For example, the RPG Items plugin can be used to create items with very high durabilities. Sound lets us change what sound it makes when we repair an item. And Right Click lets us change some options that affect how it works when users hold items. Shop has some settings to do with the Shop GUI and at the bottom, fix list is a whitelist that lets us change what items the plugin can repair. The rest of the options are for changing the plugin's localization to possibly another language. Hammers.yml lets us customize the sample hammers or even add our own ones. The very top is all commented out and is a complete documented example of what we need to do to add more hammers. So without repeating too much of what is already written, I'll show a few points. We can edit type to change what item the hammer appears as in your inventory and enchanted for whether it glows or not. Amount is how much it repairs. Consume, when enabled, will repair an item and whatever durability hasn't been used will be left on the tool for later. Of course, this only works with durability numbers and not percent. Crafting is an interesting section and lets us set a pattern using characters as placeholders for uses to craft in-game. And the very bottom of each item has some localization that you can change to add more info on item hover and responses in chat when you use the item or even fail to use it. Anyway, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!